All right, this is the uh, the Gull 175 alt. Uh, it's got 12 3 8 inch thick magnets. It's got 785 feet of 18 gauge. Um, the resistance is about 5 ohms for the 24 volt coil and about one and a quarter ohms for the 12 volt coil. So it's pretty low resistance. Um, this is just a little stop switch, run switch. Underneath is the um, bridge rectifier, it's 35 amp. And then there's also a little boost circuit in here. It's um, two capacitors and four diodes. So at low RPM it'll it'll get nice high spikes and you can get a little milliamp charging. Uh, the diodes are rated for three amps so it's it's uh, definitely overrated for what it's going to do because by the time the actual voltage gets up to charge voltage it's bypassed and it just runs through the um, bridge rectifier. That's how that little kill switch is wired. Center off. One side stops the turbine, the other is the run. And right now I'm just going to light these 110 volt bulbs. So we're making 24 volts with a boost, and it's easily enough to uh, light these bulbs. Let me show you the kill switch. I'm going to run this up, flip this to off, and it shuts off right away really good braking effect. So I'll show you some amp readings. I'm going to start with a 24 volt battery and I'm going to simulate the wind turbine just kind of going slow. You can see at what point it starts to trickle charge a little bit. Just a little bit. 10 milliamps. Going faster. Here's the 24 volt setup. Um, this is the outside um, connectors. This represents start and end of one of the coil series inside. And this represents the end and start of the other. So what we're going to do is put them in series. So we're in one coil, out, loop over to this coil, and out for 24 volts. All right, <clears throat> the coils are in parallel now, so we're using the outsides, um, outside of the, the connectors. So that's coil one, coil one, coil two, coil two. We're going to put them in parallel to get 12 volts. Also, this is the um, the pole coupler, and um, it's for a one and a half inch EMT pipe. These two bolts are deeply set into uh, the aluminum hub. This is an aluminum hub off the Goal 160, and for the 175, this will probably go to two inches. Haven't got those machined yet. Um, here, I recommend putting through bolts. So remove the set screws from the coupler, drill all the way through both your pipes, put two through bolts through, and tighten. And that'll cinch it down on the um, EMT, and it'll be really, really tight, and it won't spin. All right, let's see how many amps we can get into a uh, 12 volt. All right, so the resistance on the 12 volt coil is about one and a quarter, so it's pretty low. Here I'm turning it very slow, starting to see that boost circuit kick in just slightly. Starting to speed up. And I'm just going to show you the um, open circuit voltage. Turn it back up a little bit so you can see the alternator turn. Alright, that's residual from the capacitors in the uh, boost circuit. I zeroed it out, but it, they always recover a little bit. So let's see what we get. Start turning slow.
you're seeing the spikes off that boost circuit. That would not be enough to um, charge a battery at. Now we're touching battery voltage. And this is just open circuit voltage, no load. Just to show you what kind of voltage we get out of that. Alright, up here is the top plate. You can see this is where we're going to um, attach our rotors, rotor arms to the blades. A uh, quarter 20 volts pick up on this rotor plate. Pretty easy to service if you ever need to. This just pulls out. That's the magnet plate. 3 8 inch magnets. And just a little bit of oil in this um, hub should go a long, long time because it's got nowhere to go. It's pretty much shielded from the elements because the rotor arms are quite a ways out. And it just free spins. So there's no cogging at all. 